Everybody does know everybody. I think that's why we're such a tight community down here. Well, he's always been grounded, down to earth, and Jack hasn't changed, even though he's professional rugby now. And that's why I think everyone's so proud of him. My granddad and my uncles have always been on the boat, and that's all I've ever known is them to be fishing. It started back in the 1900s, and we're still going at the, at the minute. A bit of slack. <laughs> the main man and the big boss man at the lifeboat station would be Pat Charvey. Having Jack involved with the RNI just, just raises people's awareness of what actually you know, the RNI is all about. You know, volunteers going out there, putting their lives at risk. It's been fantastic. Luke Kamdicki, I've played with him since I was five, and his dad's also um, a trawlerman. You know, you turn up to training, it's like, how's your dad? Yeah, he's out of sea. Yep, yeah, same so as mine. And you do, you do speak about the risk. I'd like to say I'd handle it, but for me, I reckon it'd be a bit too tough. It's a bit frightening out there. Family, friends have lost loved ones at sea. They've seen the dangers of what can happen out there as first hand. They are on the lie, guys. They always say, you know, with courage, nothing is impossible. And, you know, the boys really live it when they're out there. And for me, just to give a little bit back to them is, you know, is, is a special thing. Jackson, you know, he's just a Newland lad. You know, some people, when they get as famous as Jack is, sort of aren't bothered with, uh, you know, local communities. But Jack's the opposite. He, he'll do anything to help anyone out. Yeah, he's just salt of the earth, really. You know, the sea, the town, the lifeboat boys, you know, especially my family, and they've all made me who I am. And I try not to let them forget it either. Yeah.